coronavirus cases are rising across the nation. Recently, America reached a grim milestone with over a million kids testing positive for the disease. Pediatrician Dr. Darren Scoggin says cases are going up here in the metro as well. In our practice, we're seeing positive cases in uh, ranging from young babies to teenagers. Just like in the beginning of the pandemic, children are seemingly handling this disease better than adults. We've not seen uh, severe illness in most kids and a lot of kids and teens are even asymptomatic. But then the challenge is that they have the potential to spread COVID to their families. Another challenge of the pandemic is flu season approaching. Since symptoms of COVID-19 and the flu are similar, doctors are encouraging flu shots still to lessen any chance of getting severely ill. We know that every year a lot of kids get hospitalized and have severe illness from flu and RSV and, and these other diseases. And so if we have a way to prevent against any of those, we're still encouraging that. Also, because of the pandemic, many parents are choosing to stay out of doctor's offices and delay their child's vaccines. New studies are showing because of that, the U.S. is on the verge of an immunization crisis. We've seen uh, in our country an outbreak of measles over the past couple of years, and we don't want to see that just because we're dealing with another pandemic. We want to prevent any uh, potential infections that we can. The CDC recommends children still have their routine vaccinations on time. <laughs> Dr. Scoggin says the best thing parents can do for their children is help prevent the virus by following CDC and state health department guidelines. Allie Ware, 16, WAPT News.